We're back at the lake. I'm going to try to build on the momentum from the last couple of sessions. I'm hoping that playing longer and buying in deeper, now $500, is going to lead to some bigger pots. So let's get into it. Here we look down at ace, king, king, four, single suited to the king under the gun. I open a 20 and we get three callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes king, five, two with two diamonds. Because I'm first to act, I decide to check, hopefully go for a check raise, but unfortunately everyone checks back. So still four ways to a turn. Turn bringing the eight of diamonds, bringing in the front door flush. I decide to bet 30 is instead of checking and then having to, you know, check call maybe like 50, 60, or even a full pot size bet. So I bet 30 and we get two callers. So three ways to a river. River brings an eight. And instead of trying to check and then hopefully induce a bluff or a bet, um, I just decide to lead out 60. I think this bet accomplishes a couple things. Uh, similar to the blocker bet I did a couple of videos ago with the 10, eight, and I ended up folding. Um, you know, betting small is gonna potentially induce a bluff, which would be nice. Or if someone has a low flush, I don't know if they're gonna really bet out now that the board paired. So I bet 60 and we do get one caller. So I turn over my hand and we're good. Here I look down at queen, queen, seven, four, double suited in middle position. When it folds to me, I open a 20 and we get three callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes ace, four, three with two hearts. When it checks to me, I check. One of the late position players bets 40. When it folds to me, I also fold. Here I look down at ace, queen, nine, six, double suited in middle position. I limp. Late position player makes it 20. We get two callers to us and I call. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes eight, eight, deuce and action actually checks through. So still four ways to a turn. Turn brings a four of hearts. When it checks to me, I check and the late position player bets 25. Folds to me, I make the call. So heads up to a river. River brings a king of diamonds. Here with ace queen high, I thought about betting, but didn't think it would be successful that often enough to make the bet. So I checked and he checked back. I say ace high, he turns over his hand. He has ace five, three, three. So he's gonna take it down. Here I look down at king queen, 10, five, double suited in middle position. Player to my right opens a 20. I call and there's two other callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes jack, six, five, rainbow. Action checks through, so still four ways to a turn. Turn brings a nine of diamonds, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. When it checks to me, I check. Late position player bets 70. The other two players call, back to me. It's definitely preferred when you have just a straight draw that all of your outs be clean. Obviously that's not the case here, but you know, the fact that there's three players based on the odds, I also decide to call. So four ways still to a river. The river does bring one of the clean outs for my straight and the eight of clubs. When it checks to me, I bet 245. The late position player thinks for a bit, he calls and everyone else folds. I show my hand and he shows queen, queen, jack 10 for the chop. So we're chopping it up. Here I look down at ace, king, 10, three, single suited to the ace in middle position in a straddle pot. I limp. One of the blinds completes and the straddler checks. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes queen, jack three. Straddler bets 30. I call and the other player folds. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings an ace. When he checks, I bet 50 and he folds. So I take it down. Here I look down at ace, jack, 10, eight. Single suited to the ace in middle position. There's an early position raise to 20. I call and there's four other callers. So we're going six ways to a flop. Flop comes six, five, three with two diamonds. When it checks to me, I check and the late position players check as well. So we're still going six ways to a turn. Turn brings a seven of diamonds. When it checks to me, I bet a hundred and only the small blind calls. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a queen of spades. My opponent checks. I'm trying to think of an amount to bet. He has about 300 left. I don't want to pot it and scare him off. So I settle on $200 and my opponent thinks for a little bit and decides to call. I show my hand and he shows me king nine five of diamonds. So he had a straight flush draw going to the river, but we're gonna take it down. Here I look down at ace king jack 10, single suited to the ace in middle position. When it folds to me, I open a 20 and we get four callers. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes queen six five rainbow. When it checks to me, I check and both the players behind me check as well. So we're still going five ways to a turn. Turn brings a 10 of diamonds, bringing in the back door flush draw. When it checks to me, I check. One of the late position players bets 45. Early position player calls and I call. So we're going three ways to a river. River brings a two of diamonds. Small blind checks to me. And here I just decided to turn my hand into a bluff. I do have the king of diamonds blocker. So I bet 60. And late position player thinks for a little bit, but he folds and the small blind folds. So we take it down. 
Here look down at Ace Ace 9 4, single suited to the Ace on the button in a straddled pot. There's one early position limper, folds to me, I make it 50, and only the limper calls. So we're going heads up to a flop. Flop comes 10 8 7 rainbow. When my opponent checks, I decide to check back. So heads up still to a turn. Turn brings a king, my opponent checks, I check back. River brings a jack, so I'm pretty much done with the hand at this point. My opponent checks, I check back, and he doesn't look too happy. I turn over my hand and we're somehow good, so we take it down. So this hand here is over two hours after the previous hand. So I look down at 9866, double suited in a straddled pot. I limp and we're going four ways to a flop. Ball comes 964 rainbow. When it checks to me, I bet 35 and only one of the early position players calls. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings an ace, which shouldn't change anything. If I was ahead on the flop, I should still be ahead. When my opponent checks, I bet 105 and he folds. So we take it down. Here look down at ace 10 9 7 single suited to the ace on the button there's none of the gun open to 20 three callers to me i call and both the blinds call so we're going seven ways to a flop flop comes six four four rainbow checks all the way to the hijack he pots at the 140 i fold and everyone else folds so he takes it down i play another orbit after the previous hand don't really get anything and decide to rack up What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 500, out for 1100, so a profit of 600. Started out with the ace, king, king, four, flop at the set, slow played, uh, bet on the turn with the front door flush, uh, nut flush blocker, ended up hitting a boat on the river. Then shortly after, won with the nut flush against the second nut flush. Uh, I did get one bluff through with the ace, king, jack, 10, called on the turn with a wrap. Uh, River brought in the flush. I ended up just betting with the King of Diamonds blocker. Got that one through, which is always nice. Um, and then really just didn't really get a ton of hands. Um, I had about 1300 at about 1230. It's almost four o'clock now. So really just the last three, three and a half hours just kind of bled chips down to the, you know, 1100 stack I cashed out. So game was pretty good. But there was a couple crazy players. There was also some players that were just buying in, you know, the minimum 200. But after you lose your first buy-in, they actually allow you to buy $100. So you had players just basically looking to raise with, you know, any four cards they get. So you really have to tighten up at that point because, you know, it's going to be a straddle. Then someone makes it, you know, 40. They push for 100. The actions open back up. So um, just, you know, ended up folding basically for the last couple hours. But definitely happy with the result. If you guys enjoyed it please hit the like and subscribe button if your viewing experience could have been better please let me know how down in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time take care